Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, this is a real funny. Uh, <laughs> I had, uh, last night, uh, I had a lady uh, from uh, El Salvador. Uh, well, that's where she came from originally. Now she's a nurse in uh, New York City. And uh, uh, she's been going to the doctor, and they've been doing all kinds of stuff to her. And uh, 50, 53 years old, so she's still still young enough. She should should be good. And they've messed her up, messed her up, messed her up. And she called me, and um, oh, first she texted, and then then she called, and, uh, wanted to know if there's something I could do for her. And I go, yeah, uh, still young enough. She can still take care of herself uh, but there's going to be a lot of changes she's going to have to do for me if I'm going to help you there's things you got to do it's not me uh, I'm not going to do this stuff uh, it's something that you've got to do I mean you got yourself in this situation and uh, I can prepare you and help you uh, think of what how your body works and this kind of stuff and then you can do so it was it was funny because she came in i gotta remember she doesn't uh uh she saw uh, no no stress mike.com but you know it doesn't really make a lot of sense uh for people that don't know anything about me if you especially if you haven't watched my videos and stuff like that and uh so then uh i started doing the hoi chi and uh, explaining how it works and, and all this kind of stuff and uh, it, it was really it was amazing to her she'd ne never heard of such a concept and then doing it it was just one thing after another just uh, just one shocking experience after another and then uh, uh, the, but the thing that was real funny is I don't know all the muscles. She was she explained the muscles, you know, this muscle, that muscle, that bone, or whatever. And I don't know all this stuff. I don't do doctor talk. I, I talk where people understand what I'm talking about. And so, and it's it's funny. My kids told me said uh, that I sound ignorant because I don't use large words and stuff like that. Well, like I say I don't remember people's names. I don't remember what towns I've been in. Uh, uh, like I say I'm dyslexia. You know, I can't read. I can't remember the stuff that uh, I do read. And uh, so, so here she's thinking, you know, man, this guy's dumb. You know, but you know, he makes sense. And I've, I've never told anybody that, I, and no one's ever accused me about being intelligent. And so it was, it was funny. And then, so all this, she's just shocked as can be. And then, after I got done with her, who calls? Uh, the the Mexican guy in uh, that I'm going to go visit uh, in December in the Yucatan Peninsula. And, uh, you know, she, and he doesn't speak English. <laughs> so, so she's shocked that how can I live all those years in Central America and I don't speak Spanish? And then this guy called, and then, uh, you know, now I got somebody to translate, so then we could start, start talking. And uh, uh, it was funny. Uh, at, one, at one point, he called me his brother. You know, even though I almost killed his brother, you know, and, you know, so then she's thinking, what? <laughs> you know, what's going on? You know, and then... Uh, how would I know somebody like that? And then he says that he's known me for 15 years and, uh, you know, and all this kind of stuff, you know, just, you know, just, you know, being polite and talking, but got to remember, um, the Mexican and, and Central American culture is different than the United States culture. So, um, so they were, he was talking, and, and I guess the place, I, I don't remember if I told you, but he's got a restaurant. Now he's got a restaurant there. And um, now since she was translating, uh, I come to find out he's got a hotel, too. <laughs> so, so, hey, 
that's where I'm going to be going for winter. And uh, uh, if I can make it there, I don't even know if I can make it there. I mean, this Yucatan Peninsula, I'm uh, looking at the weather next week. It's going to be 103 degrees next week. And uh, that's the place I had. Uh, um, you heard me tell a story about when I was riding across the Yucatan Peninsula. I was going to go around, but I thought it was quicker if I just shot across. And I shot across, and it was hot. And I had heat exhaustion. And uh, I had Zeno with me on the motorcycle. And she was she was passed out. I mean, she was gone. I mean, I thought she was dead, but I was just carrying her dead body. And, uh, you know, so that was the adventure. The one time I went there. Another time I went through there, I was in a car. So a car with air conditioning. So it was a, even easier to handle. But uh, that was in February. And I uh, had heat exhaustion in February. It's hot down there. And uh, so, I mean, it was funny because she, you know, she couldn't, she thought, now how is this country boy and how is he supposed to know this stuff? And she heard about someone in Guatemala that's really good and all this kind of stuff. And, uh, she finally figured out I'm the one that taught him. <laughs> so uh, it was just one thing after another. She was just being shocked and shocked and shocked on everything from this old country boy. And then, uh, then she asked me. He says, well, "Okay," he said, "You he called you uh, his brother, even though I didn't kill his brother." <laughs> I said, what are you doing killing his brother? And so then that was the time. Uh, and I, I made a video on it. But the thing is, he was, uh, uh, me and him were talking. And a car drove up. And these three big old Mexicans. I've never seen big Mexicans like them. And they come walking up from behind him. And right when they got up to us, then two went on one side. Two went off on one side. And then one went on this side. And, you know, when I'm facing them. And then so right when they cut off over here and this guy go over there, bammo, I struck these two. And then I started going for the other guy. And everybody was putting their hands up. And, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And it ended up, that was his brother. <laughs> and I thought it was people coming to get some payback on him. And uh, so it was funny. And uh, so I told her that. And then so she said, so you fight <laughs> and it was it was funny i mentioned uh, in a video not too long ago that i i really was a badass i really was and i never said it because one thing about a badass if you know they're a badass it's easier to kick their butt so i never mentioned it but then like i say my health has been kind of acting funky and I'm not a badass like I used to be. So, you know, no big deal now because that was in the past. But it, it is funny uh, that she was shocked as can be. And she, and she says, well, what do you mean when you said that I, I can't come to New York uh, because I'm illegal? And, uh, you know, I said, so I, I raised my coat and you can see I have two knives and I said how many knives can you have in New York City and she just smiled and I turned around and she saw my gun and she says you can't be in New York City and I go I know I said it's just New York folk are just really weird you know they you know and so that's why I stay away from big cities and so uh she found it really humorous. And where's Rex? Oh, yeah, Rex was fresh right there by the motorcycle. Right where I did this. But uh, it was funny. Uh, the more she kept finding out about me, here's this, uh, this, old, this, this dumb country boy. He knows so much stuff that's could be used <laughs> and uh, I just I just found it really entertaining 
and that's why I thought, well, I'll make a video on it because it, it was so funny. And uh, between me, after that, I was telling her stories, same stories that I've told on the videos. And then uh, my friend in Mexico, him telling her stories about what I've done down there. She just cannot believe <laughs> that there's somebody like that. And then when I'm going to be back down there at the end of the year. So, I mean, it, it's funny. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.